So uh, the question here was, what do you suggest for Muslim women who want to do hijab, but due to their society status or profile, they feel, is, uh, they feel it is too orthodox or it will limit their career or it will limit their visibility. So what, what do you want to tell them? Okay, so I think I should address the internal struggle as a woman that you go through. Uh, when, if, and when you do choose to wear the hijab or remove the hijab. As I had mentioned earlier, um, these are struggles with faith that we have been warned about in the Quran too, that we will face struggles with our faith. Sometimes our iman happens to be at the highest, sometimes it's at the lowest. So I think it's very important that you immerse yourself in self-love, first of all, and tell yourself that at the end of the day, Allah knows me and this is between my religion that is between me and Allah. So please have lots of clarity about it because I remember that my anniversary, my hijab anniversary falls in November, <laughs> but I had actually decided to start wearing it the succeeding March after I had graduated because these very concerns had disarmed me and I was very frightened because in March it meant my college was over, I was moving cities, I could put on the hijab, nobody would know me. So I could always introduce myself as a hijabi rather than someone who never wore the scarf and then went to wearing a scarf. But um, I ended up wearing the scarf in November with the help of an amazing, amazing support system who said, you go girl, we are there to hold you. Don't worry, just try it out. If that's what you wanna do, just try it out. And I did. And obviously I, I've already mentioned two instances where I got confronted by my professors, where I got confronted by various students, even at my workplace, I was con confronted. Believe me when I tell you that these are stories that you would cherish <laughs> once you get comfortable in your skin later on. And these make amazing dinner time stories where everyone gets to laugh, including yourself. But having said that, it's not that easy I hear you when you say that you're afraid, I do. To date, there are people, um, very few, a handful you could say in my family who looks at me and says, oh, a hijab. And I say, sure, a hijab, that's okay. I don't have bad hair days, so it works well for me. I try not to hold it against them. I try to get past it. I tell myself, I'm doing it for me. I think I look very good in it. I'm going to continue doing it, but growing that thick skin takes time. So don't be too hard on yourself. Enjoy that journey. Take your own time. Maybe just start by wearing a turban, you know, as a fashion statement. Then eventually go into a hijab whenever you can. Same thing goes with girls who, who, who are struggling with wanting to take off the hijab, but then is frightened. Again, the struggle is between you and Allah, and Allah always knows what's within you, what's in your heart. Do it for yourself, do it for the sake of Allah. Eventually you'll grow thick, thick skin, you will get, get through it. Thanks for that, Neha.